Hey everyone, this is Michael from Bart Musical Circuits. This is the new Quad Triangle Frequency Doubler Module. Uh, I've got a couple things patched into it. Um, uh, and it's basically uh, four sets of an input and an output jack. And there's a rectifying frequency doubler uh, in each one of these. So this takes uh, triangle waves and creates uh, outputs that have double the frequency of them. And then with other waveforms, it uh, will modify them in some way. And uh, let me take you over to the oscilloscope. Uh, so you can see this. I'll turn up the volume a little bit. Uh, and uh, hopefully you can see this uh, triangle wave has a little dip right here where it doesn't connect. So you see that that's happening here and here on the scope. Uh, actually, let me center that a little more. Uh, here and here. Uh, and that's just to kind of show you that it is doubling. And there's a slight bit of attenuation in this as well. Um, and so as we go up from doubling to quadrupling, because there is uh, some normalization going on, the output of one channel feeds into the input of the next. Uh, now we can see, actually let me change that. Uh, we can see that uh, that little dip has moved, it's now spaced apart by, uh, by four instead of by two. Uh, and also you can see that there is a little bit of like harmonic uh, interest happening here uh, because of all the capacitors that are being used to couple between channels. There's just tiny bits of phase shift that are happening that uh, can, can create this uh, extra little harmonic content to it. Um, and here's a plus, a times eight. And finally a times 16. And back to the times two. Uh, and let me show you what this looks like with a sine wave as well, because that also makes pretty usable waveforms. Uh, so that's times two on a sine, times four. This is the shape uh, one of my customers called a batarang shape, which uh, that's a great name that kind of stuck with me. I forget who said that. Uh, kudos to you, whoever you are. Uh, and that's not tracking very well. <laughs> um, but you get these uh, interesting, uh, you know, wave shapes uh, in a pretty simple package. Uh, with the ramp or saw input, it actually outputs a triangle uh, because of it rectifying it. Uh, this is the same way a lot of uh, triangle wave shapers work in VCOs that are uh, saw core. Uh, and then finally with a pulse, uh, you don't really get much at all. Uh, this is a, a square wave, uh, and it just kind of looks like a regular square wave. It's at times two, and let's go up to times four. Not much difference, times eight. It's just kind of attenuating it uh, without really adding much harmonic content. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of what this module does. Uh, I've had fun with it, uh, inputting external audio, like a guitar, and putting uh, filters uh, in between stages. Uh, adding low pass to a square or um, saw wave can uh, generate um, some things you wouldn't be able to generate otherwise. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple module. It's just op amps, diodes, uh, capacitors, and resistors. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.